So if you type plan in the chat, you can see that what we are going to do today is a Terra Mariana achievement, which means that starting as regards so of this one province minor inside Livon Order, we need to conquer the whole Baltic region. Can I show you the regions here? I think I do. Is this, this only this? This is small. Really? This is this small? That sounds easy. We of course using the Iron Man. Imagine not playing on Iron Man on single player. Except some mods. Pro Elo Ultra Tall Meta. Riga, 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 Riga. So to celebrate this new single player challenge, you guys, yes, you guessed this, I've got an EU4 DLC giveaway. All you have to do to join it is to be a subscriber of this channel, leave a like on this video, and say in comments what kind of single player challenges you'd like to see in the future videos and live streams. First things first, let's see who rivals with an order. And that is only Novgorod. That's fine, I'm going to rival them as well. Second step is to start improving relations with Denmark, because this is our potential ally. While the third diplomat will be building spy network in even order as we want to conquer some lands from them. As for the ships, I will start building uh, two galleys. Galleys? Galleys, to be at the first limit. And I'm going to delete the fort as we don't have money to maintain it. As for the estate setup, it's going to be quite standard. So what I'm going to do is to take uh, number one power point, take number two power point, develop these ones. To develop these ones, I'm gonna get the death cost with the diplo point. Then I'm gonna take from the nobility the mill point. Then I'm gonna sell the titles, develop this again with the mill point. And we are gonna seize land. So to get 5%. And from the other states, let's take the cheaper advisor from this one. Let's take the cheaper advisor from this one. And that will be it for now. And here we need a new air, which is going to give me money. <laughs> zero, three, zero. Uh, let's name Enrique. Plan is to get uh, Denmark as an ally and then attack Livon Order. I also can't help to beat uh, for Novgorod to be killed by Moscow later. Yeah, yeah, here you can't disinherit because... Uh, oh, this guy's strict. You cannot disinherit your heir as, as the theocracy, unfortunately. And you cannot make your ruler uh, a general. Now, these guys would like an alliance. Thank you. Novgorod decided to Lithuania. But of course, once planned against Union, on Lithuania, there will be no longer ally to Novgorod. So that's the worst part of the Novgorod start, that it usually happens. Saint performs a miracle. That's a stability, so actually great news. So now, rivals of Denmark is... Let's just go on Scotland. And I will send us Confrey Insult, which will improve my relations with Denmark by 25. So 117 now. December. Ally them. They won't favor. They are having 200 dead? How the hell. What? Yeah, rebels are killing the country. Let's go to Novgorod again. Novgorod is having 12,000. You know what we can do? We can try the Novgorod strategy. Because uh, right now it's not working uh, with, with, the, uh, with the Denmark one. Let's now see Novgorod. Bring it back to zero. Get morale from this. We have 4000. Let's send these guys. Funny thing that the navy is not trying to fight me, even though the navy is way stronger than mine. Waiting for that. They took this fort on 14%. That's a big problem. They took the fort on 14%. <laughs> yeah, that's a wipe. If they not wipe me, I can run away on the ships, so it's also fine. 12th of I need to set it till I have until 11th. Oh, I'm running away to the other guys, so that's even good. No, guys, why do you want to... Why do you give up... Why do you give up so quickly, guys? Why do you guys give up so quickly? So I can try landing again. Let's unite my troops in one place, shall we? I'm doing a risky thing, so sending two stacks around here to uh, switch it down. That's fine, let's enough grow troops around. In the meantime, uh, these guys will repay their loans to be more willing to help me against Livon Order. So they have 11,000 troops, we have 9.5 thousand. See, this, this this might be still a tough war. Oh, they're taking the Lucky Fort. <laughs> so they have zero siege a a general, I have two siege general. Now guess guys, who's gonna finish the siege first? 
I'm betting it's going to be no word. Oh, I pushed the walls. You can still do it faster than me. Zero against minus 35. Look! Look! That's what I told you! They have 28 now, I have 21! 35, and this goes down now. It was minus 30 versus 7. This is going on for 340 days. No, you're not going to restart. It's fine. Shit happens, but... You don't need to restart anything. Such an EU4 moment, yeah. We're taking one month, month. <laughs> 444. Now that goes down. Our goal is a bit risky. I will simply start car positioning. Because car positioning, I think, might be just enough to piece them out before they siege down this fort. So of course, with my luck, they'll siege down this fort. Ah, they have the fourth tech. Oh, yeah, we for sure don't fight this. The battles anymore. That's going to be the peace deal. Send the demands. Ah, yeah, of course, I cannot take any more loans. Because all of my loans are six ducats. Uh, but at the same time, I can repay pretty much all of them. Let's just leave the 1% loans. Okay, as much as I could are done. Also gonna do this. This. So left only with the 1% loans. And this point 0.1 of interest, so practically nothing. And the trade ship, let's use it in the Baltic Sea. Why the rest can be turned off. So now we have, yeah, zero balance. Okay, let's just turn on our army. And we can go. It's called the mark. Let's go for conquests of level. Oh. Oh. The thing is that I'm stupid and I forgot to hide my fleet. It's fine. Uh, Denmark should reinforce me. I, I will be able to run away. Yeah. So I want to do is to get a defensive edict to my capital. They'll be seeing this down slower. We def they breached the walls day one. They sieged this for 16 days, and after the first tick, they breached the walls. Do you understand this? The luck is with us in this game. Okay, one Denmark. Of course, they sieged on uh, Riga already. What if I take half of these three ships to Riga to reoccupy it? Those guys are probably coming my way already. 100% I hate them I guess I'm gonna... What?! Württemberg is a new emperor, guys! <laughs> Denmark has bridge walls in Königsberg and they ch just changed their mind They were fighting with Poland, by the way, as well okay, so... Ah, okay, so... Oh, this is the Loki, of course Teutonic Order is being killed by Poland So what are they doing? They are protecting Korea from being seized, of course AI logic so here we can take the Sailor's Privilege or the Empire Recovery Speed Privilege, pretty much. Let's go for the Empire Recovery Speed. The Teutons are running around here while being killed by Poland. Don't make order. I know you don't want to fight this. Just get out of this. I think after this wipe they want to wipe peace. Yep. There it goes. Okay. This campaign really don't like me. Yeah, I pissed out two tons. Now it's not a reset. Guys, why you don't want to reset every single time something bad is happening to you? Nikt tego nie róbcie about this Polish thing. Never do this! Why? It's not a problem. I mean, it's a problem, but not a big one. Nothing that is very inconvenient. Yeah, and now we are with our guts here, zero free zero guy. Let's go with the money guy here. 134. Also completely trash, but it's fine. This would cost me 220 because of religious unity. So for now I'm not increasing this, this navy, so I should be able to piss out. Uh seriously, 127, 129. Yeah, there it goes. Peace out now. <sighs> yes. Send the peace deal. This fort out delete it. Save some money. 100 points from the mission. So, actually, if I do this, I can cancel this. What are my loans now? 55, so that's even better. Let's take this. 
Oh, I'm full loans, guys, I'm dying. Let's repay the 5% loans that are of 25 ducats. Leave the 1% loans for now. Yes. Tick, tick. And so I'm left right now with only 1% loans, which is point for interest. So you're pretty much good with money now. I should turn to here, his land. Not so sure how many rebels will be out of this. I doubt it. 2000? No, I can't deal with 2000! I should state this, but just half state. But you remember, half state, if you give it a month tick, will decrease the autonomy here. So it's, uh, it's 50, and I don't have to fully state it yet, right? And let's just keep making claims on Novgorod. Can I make any more claims on them? Yes, the last one. Three ideas. Have super ultra pearl over parts the cost. National Garrison Growth. Yeah, Papa influence, trade efficiency, domestic trade power, mission strength, diplomatic reputation, for defense, discipline, and empire core speed. Very magic core. Of course, you should actually should go for a product trade edict. It's cheaper in the capital state. 2.4, 2.82. Keeping this under control. Stability, thank you so much. That's what I needed. Spirit spine network on the Teltons. Power points will be our biggest problem, not even money. Money is fine. Loans can be repaid easily. And I'm out of manpower now. Just throw Yes, we are unique money, guys. <laughs> Stonks. Yeah, I first need to take this tech and unlock new ideas. And then I will start stating those. Can I invest this in Riga? This in Neva, or maybe. And this in Riga, yeah. Those will be worth it. If one question is better to build good produce, modify manufacturers, or manpower and single player war conquest attempt? <laughs> My favorite answer, it depends. I was just standing with money, I was standing with manpower. Most important thing is on single player, when you're building manufacturers, try building the manufacturers in the provinces when you control the whole trade. Because on top of the goods produced and the tr production that we're getting from this manufacturer, manufacturer, you're also getting income from trade. So it's better to build this manufacturer in a trade node where you control it than a trade node when you don't control it. And there's many of such trade nodes in the, in the World Conquest attempt, right? You know, on single player, on World Conquest attempt, you should usually have tons of meal points to spend. You know, don't take the tech plus 50, plus 80 percent, just instead of that, dev the promises. So you'll be devving even without the dev cost modifiers, well, without the dev meta, if you'll be devving with just modifiers that you have, so the, the state edicts, uh, the burgers, You'll be having tons of manpower just from doing this. Bremen and Lübeck would help me against Tudonic Order. We go after Tudonic Order, I guess. Let's conquer Memel. Ask Bremen and Lübeck to join. More inflation. They have the fifth tech. <sighs> You're not declaring until I get the tech. Uh, I don't really like the estate statue rights. I mean, with the amount of promises that we have. You're not even stating those, and this is again around 20 anyway. The nobility equilibrium is not so bad that we could cancel it actually in 20 years. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. It's not going to change that much for us at this point. ESR is a clergy privilege. That's interesting, I didn't know that. What is the nobility one? Oh, those guys are dying now. I can just attack them in such case. Let's go for Piozaisk. So make sure that a couple of provinces won't be seized down and taken by Moscow, you know? I can sell the titles and embrace the institution for 147. So I can unlock this, unlock, unlock this, unlock this. Oh, I'm not so sure what I want to take, guys. Let's do a poll, okay? I don't actually care what I'm going to take, let's do a poll. The divine is quite winning. Yeah, we'll take the divine ideas then. Just for now, as I'm not planning to uh, fill it, because I'm behind the mill tech, I will just take the Humanist idea, so we will be having a chance to get the event for the idea cost. Switzer Lake, I did it, like, let's check it, guys. When did I do the Switzer Lake? June 2015. <laughs> Six years ago. I don't have to go after the Tonic Order now. Let's actually get my troops there already. Let's go for my ML. Oh, actually, they have stronger fleet than us. Take this. Go here. Uh, build spine on Tonic Order. It's overstuck here, so they will not engage on us. Rush the fort. Cannot breach the walls. And it's out lose all of the troops trying to rush this level of the fort. 35. Now it's down. So I could win it, theoretically. Yeah. Unless they reinforce. Once they do that. 
fighting without a, a naval leader, so I shouldn't destroy them. Now it's time to run away. They've lost two galleys. I will actually invite them to go into Königsberg, so I'll defend on the woods. Yeah, that's great. Now I can engage on them here. Just go over everything at once. And let's see, 0 to 5, 8 to 4, 2 to 1, 9 to 5. We're gonna lose it with these rolls. 9 to 6, 4 to 8, okay. I still lost way more troops than them. Oh, hello there, Mr. Prussia. To be. I did not wipe them, but I wiped them here. Hello there again. I need to kill more. Just die. Yes. Finally. Remember guys that you can see this type of the videos and many more on my Twitch channel that actually is celebrating 15,000 followers right now. So you can come on Twitch TV, Slavic TV and follow as well. For example, to join my live stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. test. By the way, I'm so much over the limit. At the same time, I have so many empty regiments. Let's take them out. And save money. Devotion, yeah, I can take some devotion. Marienburg is now down. I don't really want to fight Statin now. Mr. Statin. You give me money. Give me as much as possible. Check, check. That's something. I'll use this money to get Merc stuck. Let's go this guys. Riga. Strasbourg is out. So I can get take care of the Teutonic Order. Okay. Peace out. But I'm not going to core it. Uh, that's right. I cannot release them as my vassal if we at war. So I have to try to keep peace out no girls now. Let's just do it. I'll just wait to peace out Novgorod. It's fine. And from Denmark, with favors for manpower. Ah, one okay, game manpower. And by the way, from here I'm gonna take their inflation and interest per annum to help with the with the loans. This guy should be accepting my peace deal soon. I take accepting it now. Yep, just take those provinces. <laughs> the name placement. In the place of Teutonic Order, I'm releasing a vassal. Just Teutonic Order. Sick. They are right away disloyal. It's just a matter of improving relations. And Maskoi pissed out just after me. I left this this one of Gorod province. We are not ahead in anything. We are behind two texts in everything. But this is because of this rule 030. We want him to die so much. Let's look at the place map. Oh, that's how it looks like now. Next I guess expansion. We need some peace time now. I, I can't form anything for the achievement. You have to be Riga for the achievement. But yeah, if anything, I would probably form Russia. You cannot abdicate as an archbishop. You cannot disinherit an heir as an archbishop. I'll be stating everything and decreasing the autonomy. As we're becoming staying, s sitting on our ass doing nothing because of, I guess, expansion, I can deal with that, such things. And here, really, the improved relation guy would be way more of help. So here, everything stated now. And autonomy decreased. That's how autonomy looks like. So it's on average 36. That was the diplo one. That was the meal one. Look, we're not so behind in the text. Even though we have 0 3 0 rulers since when? 1458. 20 years. Big Riga. Yes! I think it will be good. I can improve this guy level 2. Actually, it costs just 2 ducats because he's 50% cheaper. So now he's still making money and. It's good powerpoints. I mean, it's terrible. But with this guy, it will be even better. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big problem. Okay. There goes the new ruler. 7, 8, 12 now. This is the most important for the wars. Uh, we can get some ducats. Devotion. More devotion. Let's take the money guy. 305. We don't have luck to, to earth at all. I'll be unlocking the next bonus here. And I'll probably go for morale. I'll go for the morale because I need it for the war with... I'm like 90% sure that Moscow will declare war on me once they get the Tech 7. Yeah, Riga has default missions. Very unfortunate. I actually didn't hope that they had a mission trip, but no, they don't. By the way, I can provoke the Orthodox Zealots now. 
Can I just accept the demands? No, they need to convert at least one or two provinces here. Investing in the mercantile is worth it or not? Totally not. I mean, mercantile is not bad. But if you mean investing it here, no, don't, please. You can invest it from the pop interaction. <coughs> you see, when I hear mercantilism, <coughs> it's getting an allergy because I'm starting to think about the monopolies. When I hear about the monopolies, I'm getting allergy automatically. Thanks, guys. Well, now, if I accept, they will convert to Orthodox, but we can use it. Just let them convert my lands to Orthodox. No, yes, let Gala is fine. Go take it. The only thing that we heard us is that 10 of the crown lands will go into the hands of clergy, you know, that we heard us the most. This is actually, I'll be able to cancel this in 1487. So, in eight years, you see, my equilibrium is 72. This is 80. Ah, uh, state religion is not dominant, 15. Oh, I have to have more loyalty than the influence of clergy to cancel this, but it's doable. I know what I'm going to do. I will let them convert as many provinces as possible and then I'll kill these rebels. So in 10 years, after I cancel the Eastern Statuary rights, if I, like, very easily, then I'll start the rebels again and I'll let them convert me. So, we didn't do the trick, guys, or we are not doing the trick. Cleaning out the garrison. So, the trick is... And right now we have to wait for them to siege them Riga, which could take ages, right? So that'll do. 2k will be enough, guys? I think it will be enough. Now, turn off the morale. So they will lose it easier. And I'm going to get the sortie from here. So now there's zero garrison. But the thing is, if I would just lose the battle, the garrison would be coming back here. Just would be smaller than it is right now. But if in this battle I will get wiped by the rebels, then the garrison will be zero. Now that they wiped me, there's zero garrison, so we'll take it down within 30 days. Yeah, I'm going to right away kill them here. Oh no, 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 no that's so stupid, Slavic. I attack them with zero morale. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, without three guys, I've lost like four income at least, if not five. Let's take this now. Also this in a second. So I'm ahead in this text, just in the admin deck, not so much. But the armies of those guys. Poland has 13,000. 14 from Lithuania. 34 from Moscow, and they are keep expanding so much. Ah, oh no, 305 now. Uh, okay. Closing my eyes. I'm not looking at the screen, guys. What is this? Chat, is it good or not? I'm not looking at the screen. 414. Well, it's almost 1444. <laughs> it's it's actually good. It's actually good for what we need. Just need this guy to die first. It's the best ruler that we had today uh, so far, you know? It's way better than what we had. It's just this type of the government is very RNG focused until this reform here. The tier 6 one of the tier yeah, the tier 6 one. Which one was that? I, I have to take this to unlock this, but it's tier 6. And the tier 6 is super RNG based and it's usually very low. And I can cancel this now. Sick. Now I'm going to sell the title to land. Should I improve this? It's 200. Once I change the religion. Once I change the religion. How's my autonomy doing now? After a month tick. Yes! It's all zero everywhere. See? So my country average autonomy is now 12. How can we have so many 1% loans? I could have more. Just cancel the privilege and take it again. I could have 15 if I wanted, but there's no need for me to take more. I'm thinking actually about attacking Poland. Should be tough, but I can do it. I believe in myself. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cancel Homanis ideas, take the divine. I promise you to take the divine. That's actually innovativeness from me as well. Yearly devotion, yay. And then it'll be fired the machine shift. Yay! I think this is the most. But it's I don't like these ideas like at all. They're trash. But I'm taking it for you guys. You voted for me to take those ideas in a poll, so I'm taking those. What we have here? With religious is five percent morale and five percent shock damage. With trade it's fifteen percent trade efficiency and improve relations. That's actually nice. Years of separatism and core cause with echo. Goods produced with innovative. Liberty desire of influence, tolerance with humanist, 
Empowering True Faith Provinces in, with other ideas. This is awesome bonus. Take another one. I would probably go for either admin, but I don't have admin points. That's the problem. Or trade. Trade would be nice for playing as Riga, the trading city. I love this event. Say what? We cannot hear you! Let's just take it. These guys are fully improved. So you don't like me. Same for Austria. <gasps> Austria Alliance, Pog. And they would help me with Poland if I built uh, favors. I just need to cancel one of the other allies. There goes the tech. Ahead of time. <sighs> and the thing is, let's just take Humanist again to count for the event. But I don't have PowerPoints to fill any ideas on the way. Brilliant! See? This is what I was talking about. The Humanist Ideas event. Idea cost for 10 years. What makes it OP? Nothing, they're not OP. <laughs> but they have an achievement, that's why you're doing it. And now, the last thing that I want to do today. Orthodox Zealots, provoke the revolt. Convert to Orthodox. From Kerji we can take the privilege. It's giving us yearly party heart 80.5. And together with the events, with this, and later when converting the provinces, we'll be increasing this slowly. Alright guys, this is all for today. Thanks so much for coming. And remember that we have a free EU4 DLC giveaway. All you have to do to join it is to be subscribed to this channel, leave a like on this video, and say in comments what type of the challenges I should try in the future.